Hey guys, Isabel here. Ting! There's a lot of footage, so let's get on with it. This is what I did Saturday and Sunday. So let's begin with Saturday. I know I show her a lot, but she's just so cute. Look at her little hiccup right now. <laughs> Having fun there? <laughs> Great, you just wet my limbs. My dog Max being a tard. He likes to chase his tail. And then he gets hyper sometimes, all over. <laughs> this is Dahlia. This is the mother of Kimbra. She's cool. <laughs> Sitting out here, waiting for Tony to come. Another day at Comic Quest. Yay! Well, that's it for Saturday, so let's move on to Sunday. My sister just showed me this. When I saw it, I was like thinking in my head, this is how he sounds. We're headed to Malibu. Malibu. And I don't know how long it takes to get there. Hour and 40 minutes. At Malibu Beach, not the Malibu. Where, where, where did he say it was? Florida? <laughs> Florida? <laughs> Not Malibu, Florida? I didn't know there was a Malibu in Florida. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's where we're going. Yeah. Oh, you're recording? Yes. 
No, recording. So we're what here. Is I don't know where the beach is exactly, but I think it's that direction. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we might visit there right now. How are you guys? Good. Good. Yeah, we were talking about how the brown pelican oh, died from like it's 30 rubbing. feet up in the it's air. It's real. <laughs> so, like, Have you seen the like fake right one? Right <laughs> super hard. Here, are dark. <laughs> Is it because it moving? <laughs> she touched the starfish. She's like, oh, it's rubbery. <laughs> I'm like, it's real. Yeah, we know those ones are fake because if oh, we take okay. the real ones. The, like everything else that's in here are shells mm -hmm. of what oh, used to live inside of them. Oh, so like these, are them? these are turpin snails, and normally there's actually a snail that lives inside of it, but cool. when it dies or when something eats it, we get to use it as part of our touch tank. Wow. But the sea stars are alive, so actually back in the day, like 25 years ago, um, like those we, are all these people came and took the sea stars home with them because they're like, oh, this would look pretty in my bathroom. Yeah. And um, ends up dying at home. It smells, you know, and so they throw it away. We lose all of our sea stars out there, oh, no. and it actually totally had an effect on the entire ecosystem. Wow. Every else, every other thing stopped growing because the sea stars are the ones that eat the mussels. Oh. And when they're not around. The mussels just grow everywhere and they grow on every part of every rock and so nothing else has a place to grow. So it's really interesting to be like, whoa, yeah, cool. didn't know a sea star was so important. Right. So right here we started the tour. We're about uh, we're walking up the trail right now, and um, we're headed towards a cave that uh, where they supposedly filmed the Pirates of the Caribbean. One of the I think it was the first or the second movie. I'm not sure where they bury the treasure. So that's where we're headed right now. This is the scene, the opening scene in Greece. Oh, right that's here. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Beach blanket bingo, all of the Gidget movies, all right here. That was used as Iwo Jima in the Clint Eastwood movie. Wow. They actually they actually carted in black sand. And because it's a state park, they have to protect everything. So they didn't want to mix the black sand with the white sand. So they actually built huge a sand or something. Oh. Wow. Ha <laughs> ha 
Okay, you guys, take them. It's got a scientific name, but I like its other name. This is called Cowboy Cologne. So if you were out for a couple days trying to survive and you didn't smell very good at the end, you could rub that over yourself. All right, the entrance to the cave is right on the other side here. I'm gonna go first because I need to just make sure there's not crazy things going on in the cave. The cave inspires a lot of people to do a lot of things. <laughs> yes. All right. uh, so. You give them permission to pass? Uh, yeah. It's up to you guys. <laughs> this is the cave where they bury the treasure of the Pirates of the Caribbean movie, so it's perfect that these guys bury the treasure. You gotta share it. Yeah. Yeah. You did? <laughs> it's a real treasure chest. Oh, okay. right. 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 This is so neat. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys. So, if you guys can believe, this cave is all formed by wave erosion. You can kind of see where the beach is coming in here and where the beach was coming in there. Big waves, just years and years and years and years tunneled this out. And then all of this stuff you're seeing in here, which is part of what I love, I'm a big rock fan. But all of this white that you see cutting throughout the rock, that's all quartz. They're quartz veins. And if you guys know anything about looking for treasure, gold treasure, where do they look for gold a lot? Quartz. doesn't have a lot growing on it, but you guys can see barnacles growing everywhere. You see the barnacles are smaller at the top of the rock and they're bigger at the bottom of the rock because they're able to eat more. So they're able to grow bigger. And then you have these little guys here. These just look like shells stuck on the rock. These are all limpets. So it's a type of snail that lives underneath there. And there's all different types. There's ones that have holes on top and those are called keyholes. And there's ones that look like volcanoes. And then you do, you can find and start to see, there's a sea anemone right here, but it's kind of covered up in sand. You see that guy right there? One thing you guys might remember, at least I used to do this when I was a kid, and I've learned. I, back in the day, I used to stick my finger right in the middle of the sea anemone, when, and it would suck your finger in and squirt out water. Look, there's a crab! Oh, do you see a crab? Cool. Yep, little shoreline oh. crab. But actually, what happens when you do that, you see anemones need water. They know the tide's going out. They take a big gulp of water so they can stay hydrated for the entire time the tide's out. And then people come along and they stick their finger in there and the water squirts out. And at times that can allow the sea anemone to end up dying because it's dehydrated. The soles are always gonna, they always grow in clumps like that. And then I want you just to notice right now, there's a clump of mussels that you don't see one thing that's not around here right now. We were talking about this with a few people, but you don't see a sea star. And that's why they're, Big chunk of muscles there. So all right here is the area where they filmed Greece. Right here, right here. This is this is where they filmed Greece, right, right there. Well, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this very long video and I am so sorry it's so long. 
But like I said, there was a lot of lot of footage as usual. Only this time a little bit more than usual, actually. But I'm hoping you guys had a, a lot of fun in watching this and enjoying my antics. It was a lot of fun at that beach, a lot of fun. So anyway, I won't make this video any longer. Uh, you know what to do: subscribe and like and comment below. I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.